What's happening here? I understand you have been so bothered about the well-being of your daughter. Yes. How can an eight-year-old girl be so dirty? We saw your daughter kissing in a puppy in the toilet. My daughter? Yes, your daughter. Ah, uh ah! -uh. My daughter cannot do such a thing. Ah, uh -uh. this is a godly home for Christ's sake. And I am a deaconess in church. I know that, ma. Well respected. I know. Look, look, Miss May. I am not just a deaconess. Not anyone you just see around churches. I was the first to be ordained in my parish. What am I saying, parish? In the entire region. So I am respected. I don't know where this small girl learned these things from. Ah! It happened during quick period. Now the prince wants to see you and the boy's parents. You? You want to bring shame to this house? You want to bring shame to my name, Abby? I will teach you a lesson. I will teach you a lesson that you will never forget. What nonsense! You have to just take it easy with her. I have to take my leave, you know what? Because I'm, and I'm tired. I need to go home. And don't forget your meeting with the principal tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. I will teach you a lesson. Because if I pamper you on top of this, you will only get worse. I will teach you a lesson that you will never forget. That you will never forget. Go and get your koboko. I mean, I beat her. I discipline her. I'm a dickness for Christ's sake. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, you are the one that needs discipline and also need to learn some lessons. What? Why? See. <laughs> what is happening there? I'm watching TV with my daughter. Adult movie, of course. From a tender age, you have introduced her to immoral content. And you also derive pleasure in watching this entertainment with her. I... I... Yes, didn't you even buy her a phone? Without censoring or restrictions, exposing her to all manner of content online. Oh, have you forgotten how you teach her the latest dance steps? And how you both twerk to your favorite songs? About when you bring your male lover home, Dickiness. You do everything in front of her. You expose her to all these immoralities. But she should have sense. You should be the one that should have sense. A child's brain is like a virgin land and very open. Whatever you plant there at this tender age determines the fruit that will grow daring. And when actions become habits, demonic spirit takes over and they are now subjected to their control. Imagine what is happening to her now. She's under an influence. And that is why we are here mourning. Because she has been enslaved to demonic forces. You must understand that many of these entertainment content are demonic controlled and has the capacity to influence children. I've messed up. What should I do? So the right seed. That which you want to see her become, start planting it. Expose her to the word of God and prayers. For it is written, train up a child in the way 
she should go. I mean, you have the capacity to determine a direction. And when she grows old, she will never depart from you. Depart from you. Oh God. I messed up. I messed up. Ah. Oh. It's not even by flogging or yelling. You are a city set on a hill, the royal priesthood, a chosen generation. I prophesy good things over you, my child. You are blessed, you are blessed, you are delivered from every evil spirit that wants to control you. The only thing, the only person permitted to control you is the Holy Spirit. Oh God, my child, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed. You do the right things. You hear the word of God. You hear the word of God. You hear the voice of God. You are obedient to